We have learned how to use fractions to measure part of a whole shape, and then we've learned how to use fractions as part of a set. Today we're going to learn how to use fractions as part of length. If I asked you to find the length of this ribbon, I would be asking you how long this ribbon is. And if we wanted to find out how long the ribbon was, we would measure it. I would line this ribbon up against a ruler or some unit of measurement to find out its length. Let's pretend that I had a necklace, and I have it pictured right here. And I can see that it's made out of eight beads. What I want to know is what fraction of the beads are blue. So I would count. Out of the eight, one, two, three, four, five of the beads are blue. So I would say five eighths of the beads are blue. Let's say I want to know how many of the beads are green. So I would count the green ones. One, two, three. So I would say three eighths of the beads are green. Now my question is, how many beads make a whole? What fraction makes a whole necklace? Well, there are eight beads, that's all of them, out of eight. That equals one whole. Let's use this one whole fraction strip to measure length. This is what we're going to be using to measure against. We want to measure this strip compared to this one hole. So what we need to write is the length that is covered, what is the fraction? Well I look and I see that our denominator is going to be 3 because we're talking about thirds. Now I need to know how many thirds are used up against this one. So I look and I count and I see 1, 2. So my fraction would be two-thirds of the strip is covered. Let's try this again. I look to see what part of this whole strip is covered. I'm measuring this line right here. I look and I can see that my denominator is going to be four because we are using fourths. This is divided up into four pieces. How many of the one is covered? I just count. One, two, three. So three-fourths of the whole is covered. Let's practice one more time. I want to know how much of the whole is covered. I look and I see that it's divided up into eighths. So I know my denominator is going to be eight. And then I just count one, two, three, four, five. Which means five-eighths of the whole is covered. If I wanted to know how much wasn't covered, how much I still had left to cover, I could very easily figure it out. If five-eighths are covered, how many would be left? Well, I know my total is eight. I take away the five that I already have covered, and I see that I would need three-eighths more to cover that up. Remember, when we're talking about the length of something, the denominator always tells you how many equal parts it's divided up into. So if the denominator is 8, that one whole is divided up into 8 equal parts. If the numerator is 1, that's just showing us one section out of all 8. I would like you to go ahead and do the guided practice with your teacher.